Hello guys, welcome back to Tutoring with Abdul. And today's uh, lecture session will be talking about the XOR logic gate. Um, this XOR logic gate, since uh, it seems from the name, there is a OR in there. So we will think that XOR gate is somehow similar to the OR gate, but there might be a condition to it. Uh, we'll go talk about this one. So this logic gate is similar to OR gate, but only exclusively when the inputs are high and odds. Uh, high and are also odd. That means in OR logic gate, when we had an input of, uh, if you had two input gate, two input logic OR gate, <coughs> if it's a, one input was high or both of them were high or, uh, yeah, so that would, the output would be high. But in this case, if we have a X or gate, only the output will be high if we have a odd input high. That means if you have a two inputs logic gate, if you have two input logic gate, one of the input is high, the output will be high. If the if both inputs are high, the output will be low. Because the the exclusive condition for the X or gate is the output will be only on if you have odd inputs high. So we will talk about that when we uh, move on. So XOR is a short is a often shortened for exclusive OR gate. So that's how we said XOR exclusive OR gate. So how that works? Let's say before we do anything, let's talk about the symbol. The symbol for the symbol for the x or gate is uh, symbol for x or gate okay so this is similar to the or gate let's draw an or gate there is or but there is your input coming in so that is our that is the or gate but if we have a line here that will make it exclusively that will become x or gate so that will be a input a and input b and that will be a plus B and there'll be uh, in OR gate we had a um, A plus B that was OR gate but when we have a plus surrounded by a circle that mean exclusively OR gate <coughs> okay so that is the symbol and that's how we translate that symbol A and B are inputs and um, A exclusively or B is our output, whatever you call it, that should be Y, C, any, 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 any letter you want to call it. So that's the symbol for that XOR gate. Boolean expression for the XOR gate is, we already kind of give you idea. And earlier, uh, when when I wrote wrote down the the symbol, the boolean expression for the x or gate is if it is two input, it'll be a plus surrounded by a circle b. That means that's exclusively or. This is our <coughs> uh, boolean expression for two inputs. If we have three inputs, that will be A exclusively ORed with B, exclusively ORed with C, that will be for three inputs. Okay. Now, since we talk about these right now, the next thing will be going to the, uh, how we turn on these outputs and what is the condition. We said the outputs are only on with if we have a 
odd numbers of inputs high. So that means if we have um, two inputs, XOR gate, uh, one of them, e any input, if any input is on, but only one, only odd number, um, if it is two, two input, one only, if it is more than two, that will be at least odd numbers are uh, um, on, the output will be on. If it's even number on, the output will be low or off. Okay, so let's, uh, let's draw a circuit. So this circuit, uh, in this circuit, this LED light will be only on if we have one of the input on only. Okay, so I'm naming everything here. So this LED light resistor, uh, switch A and switch B. So in this, uh, in this scenario, if a input or switch A is on, the LED light will be on. If switch B is on, the LED light will be on. That, if that means in XOR condition, if switch A is on, the output will be on. If switch B is on, the output will be on. But if switch A and B are both on, the output will be low. If A and B are both closed, the output will be low. If A is open and B is open, the output will be also low or zero. So to put that, that thing in truth table, or just to summarize this thing, since we have two inputs, uh, our um, probability is four. So we have input A and input B. So I'll just say A, A and B. And that's your output, I call it C. <coughs> if input A is low, and input B is high, the output will be high because it's exclusively OR. It is uh, some similar to OR gate, but only the, the exception is when the, it'll be only high, the XOR, the exclusively OR gate output will be only high if you have odd numbers of input are high. So if odd numbers, which is only one right now, one input is high, so the output is high. Okay, so before we jump into that thing, let's see the first condition is If both inputs are low The output is low But if input A is high and input B is low the output will be high because the odd numbers of inputs are high and If input A is low and input B is high The output will be high because the odd number of input is high if both inputs are high the output will be low so this is the truth table for the two input <coughs> so the only condition to be high in XOR gate is when the odd numbers of inputs are high Okay, let's uh, move in, uh, move around to the three input and four input XOR gate conditions. See how that comes up. Three inputs XOR gate will be. So having three inputs, uh, simple is that. So let's draw that uh, three inputs OR gate uh, XOR gate. Okay, let's not make a mistake. It's a little bit curvy. Okay, let's do this one. There should be okay. Okay. And okay. So you have three inputs, right? A, B, C. Make sure that it, it doesn't represent the OR gate. Because this line will represent the XOR symbol. You can call the output as D or any number you want it. Or you can call it A, XOR, B, 
x or c and that is equal to d alrighty so that is our symbol three inputs coming in outputs going out we call that d or x or it with a b and c so the, this is actually the boolean expression for that is a x or b that is x or c so that's um, plus surrounded by a circle mean x or okay so that's my x or symbol right there oops that okay so that's x or so, um, boolean expression Alrighty, now going on to the this is a bo uh, boolean expression symbol and this is a logic symbol let's write it symbol logic a logic symbol okay so we said that's the three inputs a is x or with b and a and there is x or with c okay the condition for that will be since we have three input then we will have eight conditions uh, in the truth table so let's draw that i can't even draw a straight line okay so let's make it as straight as possible all righty we had a output is called we called it d Alrighty, let's do this. Yes, we can do that. Let's get it. So input A, input B, and input C. Uh, remember we said that uh, the XOR output is only high if we have uh, odd numbers of inputs high. Okay, so the first condition in each gate will be if all the switches are closed. Uh, sorry, if all the switches are low. So if they're all off, the output will be off but if you have a input a on and input b low or off input c off the output will be high because we said the exclusive output conditions are when you have odd numbers of inputs high second condition if, if input a is low input b is high and input c is low the output uh, d will be high okay condition number four is if your input a is high and input b is high the output d will be low because an input c is low the output d will be low because we have now we have even numbers of inputs are high because one and one there are two inputs high we only need odd numbers of inputs high for in order to have output and exclusively exclusive or gate to the output should be uh, uh, for the output an exclusive or gate to be high now condition number five is if we have a input a low input b low and input c high the output will be high because we have now odd numbers of in, uh, odd number of input high now condition number six is if input a is high input b is low and input c is high the output d will be low because we still have two inputs high we only need odd numbers for, in order to fire up the output or turn on the output d okay condition number seven is if input a is low input b is high and input c is high the output will be still low the last condition in, in uh, or uh, x or gate is with the three logic gate uh, three logic say three input x or gate if input a is high input b is high and input c is high the output will be high because we have we now have a uh, odd numbers of inputs there are high so that's the truth table for the three inputs x or gate 
So your inputs are only, the output are only high when you have odd numbers of inputs are high. So we should have, a, odd, how many odd numbers we have? We might have four odd numbers. One right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. So we will have four out of eight possibilities. 50, 50, we said like 50% of the time XOR gate will be high. Alrighty, so this was the three input. Um, XOR, logic, gate, and um, in the next video, uh, I'll be uploading it for four input XOR gate. I will uh, we'll make a uh, the truth table and we will have a Boolean expression for it too. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, do not hesitate to put it in the comment section. And uh, I will recommend if you have to go, uh, if you want to learn XOR gate and maybe the next gate that we will be talking which will be x nor gate or exclusively nor gate for them to to get a good understanding please go check out the previous videos of or gate on or gate and nor gate if it if they will not hurt if you go check out the and and nand gates also i'll increase your knowledge in gates uh, we're almost getting to the end of the the logic gates <coughs> so please go ahead and uh, review them and until then uh, take care guys and please do not forget to subscribe this channel